Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Sebastian's right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What if the choice wasn't yours? You wouldn't be to blame for what happens. What in the world are you suggesting? Imperium? That's what I'm saying. I would take all responsibility. This could save your friendship. I know how to cast it, Sebastian taught me. But I won't do it unless you agree. This is insanity. I can't believe you would ask this of me. Sebastian is never going to give up trying to cure Anne. If you try and stop him now, he'll never forgive you. I'm... I... fine. This is unfathomable. But I suppose if you want that responsibility, it may just save what's left of... of my friendship with Sebastian. Remember, this is what I was telling you about the Dark Arts. They come with a cost. You may well regret making this choice. Do what you have to do. Cast it. Before I change my mind. Imperio on someone without their knowledge and casting it with permission. I 
understand what you're saying. I do, but... I've taken full responsibility. You have my word. We've always looked out for each other, Ominous and I. I hope he knows that hasn't changed. How long will the spell last? How long must Ominous stay in the tomb? The curse is lifted already. He'll easily find his way out of the catacomb, just as we did. He'll be all right, Sebastian. Could it be a Merlin trial? Rebellion. get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldcroft's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry.
expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Revelio. he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Hogsmeade, here I come. Over here. He'll see it was a mistake parting ways with me.
glad you came. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Hello, Serena. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you were needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hawksfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, uh, full of old letters and such. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Don't can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business just as we were getting started. <laughs> Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool, he's passionate about things too, as I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How 
do you feel about committing some grand plant last day? I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvellous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Remember, I just need that venomous tentacular. Mr. Barnes, about that venomous tentacular you wanted me to get. Bring it to me. That'll show my ex-business partner not to mess with me.
Completed that errand for me? Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. It wasn't as easy to come by as I had expected. I'd like to be paid for my troubles. <sighs> Only fair, I suppose. I can respect your business acumen. Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Thank you again for your help. I suspect you... Lead to Hogsmeade. news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her, you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade.
didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realised that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Well done. You certainly know what you were doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right. I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. She is above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well, and from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Watch your step. Just raring for a fight.
There's no turning back now. Remember, you don't need to hurt him. generous, isn't it? She did try to kill us the entire time. Only until she saw her egg, at which point I thought she rather warmed to us. The important thing is that we survived it, and we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. 
Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? What are you up to now? Speak with my uncle. I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft, nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. If he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne, to reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. <laughs> Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Revelio. Confringo!
Those Merlin trolls won't get the best of me. I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I've been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous and the catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. You lead. Why am I always up for trouble? No one ever anyone in trouble. going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose.
over. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. I should tell you. Rumor is this mine was closed long ago due to an infestation of spiders. Repair. 
You've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better the tonight. Video. seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised?
certainly cleared the room. You're not a bad chap. The Raven Court has certainly got a lot to learn. Surprised to find a second one of these. Revelio. Lumos. Confringo. Wasn't expecting that. in vain after all. Still, Rebellion. something about this place feels odd. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. His are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. This is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now... For the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. And now for the moments of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Ween has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable.
Dad, you're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Hauntel Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. If your gran's all right, and they didn't get the egg, then perhaps we're fine. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon, oh, but the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies, others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Beard! You're a genius! The centaurs, they'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. It's like a place right out of a storybook. If you're here for my wares... I'm... On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. All the best. Why don't you have a little peruse? to purchase that. Good to have stock, I always say. nicely, I'm sure. Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, be sure to visit me again, won't you?
intriguing. Deadly Great Spider. I know a Merlin trial when I see one.
Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Merlin himself would be proud. Vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. <laughs> <laughs> 